This is part 21 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Anchor Scroll Service in Angular. The Anchor Scroll Service is used to jump to a specified element on the page. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. So here on this page, we have a button at the top of the page and then we have some static content. As we scroll to the bottom of the page, we have another button here. Now at the moment we are at the bottom of the page, notice the scroll bar, this is also present at the bottom. At this point, when we click this button, go to the top of the page, the page should automatically scroll to the top. Similarly, when we are at the top of the page and when we click this button, go to bottom of the page, the page should automatically scroll to the bottom. Let's see how to implement this using Angular. Let's flip to Visual Studio and see what we have on the HTML page. So this is the page that we have seen on the browser. Within the body section at the top, we have the button. So go to bottom of the page. So that's the button that we see right here. And following that, we have the static content. So all this static content is present inside this div element. So if I expand this div element, notice what we have here. We have the static content along with two you know, HTML elements, bold and break. So you will see these elements all over the static content that you have here. So basically I'll have all this HTML available on my blog. And to format that div, we are applying some styles using a style sheet. So notice we have reference day style sheet right here and if you look at that style sheet we have a style for the div element so width border font family font size and padding all standard styles so that's the div element and then at the bottom of the page we have another button which says go to top of the page so that's straightforward html there and if you look at our script.js file which has got our angular code all we are doing here is creating a module with the name demo app Okay, and then within our HTML page at the HTML tag level, we are using ng app directive, initializing that to demo app. The next step now is to create our controller, so let's go do that. So I'm going to call this controller demo controller, and to a controller function, I'm going to pass three parameters all of them provided by Angular. The first one is going to be the scope object, second one is going to be a service and this is going to be a location service. In a bit we'll understand how we are going to make use of these services. And the third service is going to be our anchor scroll service. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is to this scope object, I'm going to attach a JavaScript function. I'm going to call it scroll to. You can give it any meaningful name that you want. So basically this is the function that's going to allow us to scroll, you know, to the location that we want to. And to tell the page to scroll to a specific location, we have to give the ID of the element on the page to which we want to scroll to. Now, if you remember, on this page we have two buttons. One is present at the top and the other one is present at the bottom. So when we are you know, at the top and when we click this button we want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. So at the bottom of the page we have this button. So basically I'm going to give this ID. You know, That's the location to which I want to scroll to. Similarly when we are at the bottom we want to scroll to the top. In that case I'm going to give the ID of this button. Okay, so we want to pass the ID of the element to which we want to scroll to, to this function. So I'm going to call it scroll location. Again, you can give it any meaningful name you want. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of this location service. This location service has got this method called hash. So what is this method going to do? It's going to append whatever you provide to that to the URL. Okay, so let's say for example, you know, we pass the ID of the element to this hash method. This hash method is going to append that to the URL using a hash symbol, that's a pound symbol, you know, something like that. And then if I provide, let's say, ID as the top, then that will be appended to the URL like that. That's what the hash method is going to do. And then we're going to call the anchor scroll method. So what is this anchor scroll method going to do? It's going to read what we have in the URL. So for example, if we have hash top appended, 
this anchor scroll method is going to read that hashed fragment and automatically scroll to that element on the page. Okay, so we'll see all that in action in just a bit. All right, so that's all there to it within our controller. So our controller name is demo controller, and we want this to be in charge of the body section. So I am going to use ng dash controller directive and specify the name of our controller. And now so this is the button that is present at the top of the page. I'm going to give it an ID. Let's call it top. And then when we click the button, what do we want to do? We want to call our scroll to function. And to this function, we'll have to specify the ID of the element on the page to which we want to scroll to. So we are going to call the method. And let's pass the ID. Now we want to scroll to this button, you know, which is present you know, all the way at the bottom of the page. So first, let's give it an ID. I'm going to give it an ID bottom, OK? And this is the element to which we want to scroll to. Let's do the same thing with this button. So ng-click. When we click the button that is present at the bottom of the page, what do we want to do? We want to scroll to this element, which is present at the top. So here, the ID is going to be top. All right, so that's all there to it. Let's save the changes and let's go reload our page. Look at this. When I click this button, go to bottom of the page, the page automatically scrolls. Look at the scroll bar. It's now at the bottom. And now when I click this button, it's going to scroll to the top of the page. But before that, look at the URL. It has appended hash bottom to the page. Okay, so who has done that? The hash method has done that. Okay, so you know, when we are at the top, when we click this button, we are passing bottom, the ID of this button, to our scroll to function. And this hash method is actually going to append that to the URL. And then the anchor scroll method is going to read that hash fragment and automatically scroll to that element on the page. Look at this. Go to bottom of the page. Now, when I click this button, look at what's going to happen to the URL. Also notice the scroll bar. Now it's present at the bottom. When I click the button, look at that. The hash fragment is changed to top, and the scroll bar is present at the top of the page. Now, notice between the element, you know, this button, and the browser, there is no gap here. Now, let's say for some reason you want some padding there. You know, you want to leave some space there. To do that, you can use another property of the anchor scroll service. So the anchor scroll service has got Y offset property. So I'm going to set this to 20. So basically, this is going to leave you know that much space between the element and the browser. Let's actually look at that. So let's reload this page. And look at this. When I click, go to the bottom of the page. And when I click, go to top of the page, now we have got some vertical space between the button and the browser vendor. So anchor scroll service is used to jump to a specified element on the page. The location service hash method appends hash fragments to the URL. Anchor scroll method will then read the hash fragment from the URL and jumps to that element on the page. Y offset property specifies the vertical scroll offset. Thank you for listening and have a great day.